All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Newbie Photographer Podcast. I'm your host, Nathan Holritz, here yet again for another new episode in this new podcast, actually. This is probably the first uh, eight or nine, ten episodes that we're into the show now. We're here to focus on simplifying photography and photography business for new photographers. So if you're trying to get your business off the ground now, or maybe you're just in the first few years of business, you're trying to figure everything out, this is the podcast for you. And as we get this podcast launched, the first number of episodes, we're actually doing a series called I Wish I Knew. I'm having established photographers come on the show and share a big idea or principle that they wish they were aware of when they first started their photography business. So you don't have to repeat that same mistake. And um, we're lucky today to have Morgan, Morgan Taylor on the show. And actually, Morgan, you know, I was going to ask you about this before we got started. You've, your photography business is Morgan Taylor. Is that actually your last name or do you go by a different no. last name? Okay. <laughs> yeah, my last name is Keeney. Keeney, okay, uh, okay. Morgan Keeney. I have, I've had some friends say, you should change it to Morgan Keeney Photography. Any worst brand idea ever. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, Morgan Taylor Photography, and and actually, Morgan, on that note, if you'll just briefly introduce your business to our listeners, and as you're doing that, I'm going to actually pull up your website. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so I'm a wedding and lifestyle photographer. Uh, I've been shooting weddings since 2004, a um, long time ago. And I had a, I, I worked at a skateboard shop, and the owner of the skateboard shop, um, Donnie, he was getting married. And uh, I expressed an interest in photography, and he actually helped me buy my first camera. And uh, I was like, you should photograph my wedding. They had a photographer already. He's like, no, come on, just photograph it. And they actually liked my photos more than the photographers. Uh, I think a part of that was because they didn't get their photographer's photos for like a year and a half. Um, (laughs) Yeah, it was quite long. Uh, So anyway, yeah, so I've been shooting weddings and and families and lifestyle ever since. And I've gotten to meet some great people, um, had some great relationships and uh, like Nathan here. (laughs) Yeah, we actually got a chance to connect, I guess, maybe for the first time at at Yosemite. How how many years ago was that? Yeah. Four years ago, five years ago, something like that. I think like five or six years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Well, I have to say, though, and and I mean this, I'm not blowing smoke, like for having (laughs) photographed now for what, 18 years, you don't look like you've been photographing for 18 years. You've kept the the youthful look about yourself. So props to you for that, too. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I enjoy it. I have fun. And I think that's one of the cool things about it is, is I really do enjoy it. And I have a blast and I have a great time doing it. So it's 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 fun. It shows. Well, no, that's that's really great. So we'll make sure to link to your pod, your, your podcast, to, to your website. <laughs> I got podcasts on the brain uh, to yeah. your website. And I, I popped it up on screen as you were talking. But anybody listening in, if, you, if you're not watching the live stream with us, the Morgan Taylor dot com. And then you can go to the Morgan Taylor on Instagram as well. We'll link mm-hmm. to that in the show notes at newbiepodcast.com. dot com. So, Morgan, I wish I knew what is the big idea or principle that you wish you knew when you first started your photography business? Photo sharing, how to deliver your photos. Um, that's, that was a big thing. What did it look like at the outset? Was it like DVDs (laughs) or USB thumb drives or like, what did it, what did it look like? And what started with DVDs, um, you get this purple colored burned CD-ROM DVD, uh, and then you have to like either hand deliver it in a special package that you made, um, or mail it and hope it gets there and all this stuff. And that was, it was honestly, that was great for the time. It was a cool thing. And then thumb drives came along. And uh, you, you get a whole gig for like $150. I remember how excited we all were when that technology came out. We're like, oh man, this is so good. You don't, you can't scratch the disc yeah. anymore. And, yeah. Packaging them in little boxes. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That was the thing too. Like you would go to the like WPPI or PPA, the, the image yeah. trade shows. And you'd have all these these companies that are selling different fancy packaging, wooden boxes and metal boxes and custom engraved You're and all that stuff. Branded. Yeah. Thumb drives. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's yeah. where you were at. What, where was, I guess, where was the turning point for you where you realized you needed a better solution? And what was that solution that you found? Uh, Dropbox. And I absolutely hated it. <laughs> I started actually using Dropbox and it just was so unprofessional mm. and didn't look good. And it was cumbersome. And I got to open this folder. And I, but I was like, there's something here. There's got to be something better. And I was like, I'm not going back to um, thumb drives. I'm not going to try to send 15 different emails of just photos with the design I create. And I just started Googling and looking and I came across Pixie set. Um, And there it is. Pixie set is a phenomenal 
delivery site. Um, the, another great one is Pass. Um, there's there's honestly plenty. I use Pixie Set. You can link Pixie Set to your website. Um, it creates these beautiful galleries too, which that's that's the part I love. Um, there's an email and a link, and I send them the email, and it creates this full email spread with a, a photo that you select right up top, and then you have their gallery down below, right up top too. You get little, you can select different um, sections of a gallery, which I really like too, because I'll do the getting ready photos, um, the bridal party, the ceremony, the reception, sunset, you know, have it laid out. And then I actually deliver full color photos and also all black and white photos. So they'll get okay. two sets of those too. Um, and it's, it's great. It's, it's a great way to do it, but it's really professional and just. And a, a nice step up from it. Dropbox, huh? <laughs> There's a little, little step above from Dropbox. Okay. Well, I, we were chatting a little bit before we got started and you were sharing some of the big ways that Pixie said has made a difference in this delivery process. You shared kind of three big ideas. Yeah. Um, and, and let's start with that first one. I think you mentioned something to the, and you've already alluded to it, the difference between Dropbox and then the solution that Pixie yeah. said delivers, which is a level of professionalism. Talk about that a little bit. Right. Uh, a big thing about separating yourself from just any old person with a camera that can take some photos, they'll set it on auto, they'll apply a filter, they'll share it. If that's your game, then that's great. That's great. But I think there is a big separation from the person who does that and the person who hones in their craft. For sure. You know, who knows what they're doing on yeah. every level. They can run into a problem and make the best of it. And Pixie Set, Pixie Set helps you do that. Um, it's, it's, you know, Dropbox or an email to a professional um, stylized gallery for your clients to view. Um, and I think that's, that's a big thing for it because it speaks, it speaks to your brand, um, which you also can put your branding on it, but it speaks to your brand. So when you deliver a photo or a deliver a gallery, um, like I said, you get the big picture up front. Um, you get all your pictures. You can click on the photos, make them big. You can select favorites. You can like it. You could share it to social media. Um, and I'm going to jump into maybe one of the other questions that was, was really good too, yeah. is, is when you're in that process doing it, um, a part of looking professional and a part of being professional is giving your client the ability to share those photos, mm, the to marketing share that side, gallery right? marketing. Um, so you can share the entire gallery. You could send them the link. Um, you can give me an email, like I'll, I'll, when I do a contract, um, sit down with my clients. I'll let them know about this gallery. I'll pull up the gallery. I'll show them what they're getting with other weddings I've photographed, which is kind of cool too, because they, then they can see like, Oh, you, you actually do a really good job through like all the wedding, yeah. not just a couple highlights here. Like this is really cool. Yeah. Um, but I'll show them this and then I'll, I'll come in and say, Hey, I'm going to send you a follow-up email and just please reply to it with, any, anyone's email who you'd like to receive your photos. Um, grandparents, parents, we can do that. I can set up a highlight reel because I also do like a highlight reel, like a high, not a reel, a highlight gallery. Okay. Um, they can select, select and I, you could send them just that highlight gallery. Um, and I'll, I'll send that to an array of people. Um, I've got like 15 emails at once. I've got no emails and they okay. just do it. Um, leave it in their course sometimes. But then what happens is I can send that out and then now all these people um, see the photos that I've taken. The bri I send it to the bride first and then I wait a couple days and then send it out to everyone um, or the bride and groom. But yeah, So having that, that kind of, I mean, again, the, the stark contrast between Dropbox and Pixie said, I think it's, it's kind of funny to think about, but certainly it brings a level of professionalism. But it isn't just about hosting some pictures online. There's so many potential solutions there. It's about doing so mm -hmm. in a way that's vi visually pleasing and, and a oh, beautiful yeah. reflection of your brand, number one. But then two, this idea of, of, I guess, the tools built into the system that enable you to market the images and ultimately market your brand more, not mm -hmm. just effectively, but easily, it sounds like, too. It's really easy yeah. to use. Yeah, it is. It's really simple. It's, it's just upload. You have form emails you can set up and then go. Yeah, that's it's, great. It's really simple. We, we used the platform back in the day called Pictage, actually. They're, they're, they haven't been online yeah. for years, but it was a similar experience. And it made all the difference in the world that we essentially could upload the images. And then, honestly, a lot of our work was done. Because from that, yeah. that point, then Pictage was doing a lot of that marketing work for us. And it made just all the difference in the world. 
the other big idea you mentioned to me about Pixie Set um, was the idea of redundancy. And explain a little bit about that as it relates to a photographer's workflow. Yeah, so redundancy is huge. Um, a great part of what I do, photos, photos are, it's not a one and done thing, right? Like you photograph a wedding and then you have your pictures and you could wash your hands and be done. But I like to store all my clients photos. So 20 years down the road, God forbid they you know lose their hard drive or something happens yeah. and they don't have any wedding photos. They don't have any family photos from when their kids were young or anything like that. Well, they can just send me an email, give me a call and I've got them backed up. And a part of that is if you have it backed up on one hard drive and that hard drive fails, well, now you lost all your photos. You have to back them up on several hard drives, several different platforms. Mm -hmm. Pixie set is one of those platforms. So mm -hmm. you can keep and store your photos on there. And obviously that comes with a price, but if you're making money doing it, it's a great investment. Amazing. Um, so yeah. I, I know other companies, not just Pixie set, like I mentioned past to other companies do the same thing. Personally, I just like Pixie set. Fair enough. Well, for everybody listening in, we, we did have this pulled up on screen earlier, but if, if you're not watching the live stream, Pixie said it's spelled P-I-X-I-E-S-E-T dot com. We'll link to it in the show notes at bocapodcast.com. And this has been a really quick, practical, and certainly applicable episode of the Newbie Podcast. And Morgan, I really appreciate you making time to come and share with our listeners. Remind them one more time where they can find and follow you online. Yeah, so Instagram at the Morgan Taylor. And my website is themorgantaylor.com. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me, send me an email. I'm always happy to, to talk, to teach, to engage, whatever it is. I appreciate that. And I could vouch for that. Morgan's one of the nicest guys <laughs> I've met in the industry. You've probably seen it here on the show. Thanks, Morgan, so much for sharing with all of our community today. I really appreciate it. Nathan, I can't wait to be on again. You're awesome, man. I appreciate what you're doing. Thanks, dude.